Hello everyone. The purpose of this demonstration is to take you through and to show you how to use some tools. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to go down and we're going to try to get to the bottom of this Ajax issue that we're having at a, a company called Tesco. So what we're trying to do now is um, they're trying to identify in, in Fogged Experience Viewer when somebody switches like this from delivery to collect from store. And as you can see, the page isn't refreshing. So this is an asynchronous transaction and uh, this is Ajax. So what we're trying to do now is identify when somebody actually does this and we're actually checking these little things in here that, that rebuild the page for you. This is a very common use case. Uh, we see this a lot in computer users or, or computer companies like Apple and Dell and somebody might change their memory from 4 gig to 8 gig and it recalculates the price. So that's basically what it's doing here is it's doing that recalculation for you. So what I'm going to do is talk about is how to identify these things and to do that I usually use a, cool, a tool called Tamper Data. So you can come up here and this is an add-on that you can get inside of Firefox and this is Tamper Data 1101 and it works in the, the, recent, the most recent version of Firefox. And I'll show you why I'm going to use this. Is, um, what's useful here is if I'm on this site and I want to see what's coming out of the site, so what is my browser actually sending out, Tamper Data works great. So I can just go to Tools, Tamper Data, and it's going to open a new window. And then when I click on these items, it's going to show you all the pieces, all the URLs that are being issued out of my browser. So I do is I'll just scroll over here because all I want to see right now is the method and I want to see the URL. So as I switch here, I'll go for collect from store and you'll see it re-renders and, and these posts are coming up. So what's interesting here is that posts are always interesting to me because what's happening is as I click on these, it's issuing these posts and it's sending data back to the server so that the server can return it something so that it can rebuild the page. So it might be sending it information on the price, it might be sending it information on the available options. Now what I want to do is I want to check that. So I want to look at these posts and I could see checkout page happened here, checkout page happened here, checkout page happened here. So this is a common post that happens every time that I click on one of these changes and that's exactly what I'm after. There it goes again. So what I'm going to do now is open this post and again I'm going to go to checkout page and now you'll see there's post data at the bottom of this. So this is a, let's look at the type, right? So I have, this is a gzip file and this is application form uh, URL encoded and then it has a character set at the end. So what I can do is I can double click on this post data and here is the inform interesting information. So what I can see is the delivery method, it's changed to store collect here. Now if I go back to another one, let's see if I, from store collect to delivery, I'm going to have another post and let's see what this post tells me on the checkout page. Okay, so that's the URL for checkout page and I'm clicked on checkout page and I'm going to look at this post data. So now it should have went from store delivery to home delivery, which it did. So this is the, exactly the field. Now the problem with the older versions of FXV is this is post data, which means it's in the request, it's not in the response. And FXV is typically made to parse responses because that's where all the interesting data was. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to talk about a feature where we can get this data out and actually put that data inside of either uh, hit details or transaction details or session details so that the customer knows when somebody made these changes. You can actually, once you know how to identify these changes, you can also build this into a transaction filter. So you can say somebody went to basket, they went to payment, and then from payment they switch delivery types and then after they switch delivery types they went to confirmation or they switch delivery types and then they didn't go to confirmation also you can track the time that it takes when I switch delivery types to actually render these components So that's another item you can do so in the next piece in the next video um, I'll talk about how we do this um, how we use the this um, this feature this knowledge that we've gained here about the data inside of the the post uh, in order to um, you know use FXV better to identify these Ajax actions. Thank you.